Hi, it's Leaf, and as you can see, I just finished creating a brand new character, because today we're not gonna be talking about my time at Sandrock. Today we're actually gonna be playing my time at Sandrock. I know, it's weird. And frankly, I have no idea if you even wanna watch this. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, this is my character. She looks nothing like me, because it's impossible to make a character that looks anything like me in this game. But look, she's got cute little freckles barely visible actually. Uh, so all we need to do right now is just confirm and choose our birthday. And I like to go with a winter date because that gives us enough time to actually make friends. Because when we have friends, there's a chance they're actually gonna give us birthday gifts, which is always nice. And I usually go with the 27th of winter because that's like an equivalent of my own birthday, so I'm used to it. However, in my time at Porsche, this was also Higgins's birthday. Fortunately, there is no Higgins in this game, so we'll just select this date and let's go! Oh, that opening. It's been a while. Sandrock, Builder Wanted. Yeah, that's me. I guess it's like the fifth time that I'm starting this game from scratch. But I, I haven't done it in a while. And hello, Sandrock. Hello, hi. And hello, Logan. Hi. It's gonna be so weird starting out with nothing. It's not like I usually have like a huge workshop with a fancy house. There is a reason why I usually name my workshop Chaos. But having absolutely nothing is going to be weird. And frankly speaking, I have no idea uh, if I rename the character. <laughs> I always forget. I guess now is the moment of truth. I did rename my character. Hello, Mian. Hi. Howdy. Howdy. Hi there. You must be the <laughs> new builder. Yep. I'm Mian, the other new builder. I just got here a week ago. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. Okay. This right. way. Look around. Move, sprint, uh, wait a second, why do I have two power stones already? Is that normal? Okay, anyway. Here. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm here. Howdy there, I'm Yan, president of the Sandrock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, hi, yeah. I'll be overseeing you with me on, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as, um, a buddy. That's your, uh, uh supervisor. <sighs> That's probably the worst thing that your boss can tell you. <laughs> this here's Mason. He's retiring, and it's, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway, see that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? It's awesome. Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. Thank you. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, <laughs> and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of... Sand. Heart. You meant sand. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yakmel milk on. Mason, if you like Yakmel milk so much, then why are you leaving? Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Oh, that explains so much. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. You don't say. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. 
but there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Okay. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. Hey, <laughs> I don't trust you. True. It is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Picking up things from the ground is basically a requirement in this job. Hey! Let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for ya. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. Mian, I don't think it's possible to get lost. The, the, the workshop is right over there. Also, those train tracks are kind of dangerous. Dear people of Sandrock, you had absolutely no problem fencing off your precious oasis. But the train tracks? Well, I, I guess that um, if it's not about water or trees, then Sandrock just doesn't care. Now, that's an accident waiting to happen. And that's a workshop waiting to happen. There should be a tumbleweed rolling across the yard. It's not particularly impressive, no. Hmm, kind of slim pickings. Mm -hmm. But at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Woo! Okay. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Uh, okay. Uh, let's talk to Mian real quick. Plus, Hello. additional plus one to friendship. I heard that the breach here in town used to be one of the tallest buildings in the old world metropolis. It's still much shorter than the elevator in Tall Sky. Okay. Right, so Catch you, you later. Yeah, you go make your pick hammer and I'm gonna go gather some uh, stuff that I need. Because I have a plan. My plan is to be done with the tutorial as soon as possible, register a workshop and take and finish the first commission. And also uh, build multiple machines. Uh, by the way, we don't play on regular speed. Our days are actually longer, so there's a fair chance I'm gonna be able to pull it off. Wow, it's the first time we're actually entering this workshop. Huh. Okay, let's pick up that rope. Let's get the axe. Yeah, it could be better. And let's make that big hammer. Yeah, 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 okay. Right, done. Now let's use it right away. Okay, and let's use our axe as well. Now let me just organize the tools the way I like. And let's go uh, talk to Jan. Okay. Oh, Coco. Hello. A stray pig-nosed owl nests in cacti. Yay, yay. <laughs> Talking to animals, unfortunately, is a bit pointless, but they're gonna change it, hopefully. Because I want all the animals. I want the cat and the dog and uh, Raven. Shh. I didn't say that out loud. Logan, hi! 
If you see this man, do not engage. And the reward is 100,000 goals. That's a lot of money. Tempting. Mm, but we can't do anything with that knowledge. Okay. Jan, Jan, I made a pick hammer. Isn't it beautiful? Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Yes. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Hmm. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. I'm back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Bye bye I am not particularly worried. I know exactly what to do. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna make a recycler. And I would like to make at least two recyclers and two furnaces. Maybe not today. But I'll try to make as many as I can today. Okay, a recycler. All right. Now, what do I need? Wood. Okay, I have wood. All right, those I don't have. And I don't think I have enough stone. No, I don't. I need to... No, I'm sorry, that sound was actually my uh, USB mouse that goes crazy for some reason. It still works, but it kind of like disconnects, hence the sound. Sorry, that's me, not you. Okay, we need to get some stone. Uh, and... Wait, yeah, this is the problematic stone. There's a couple of them actually around. They are undestructible, untouchable even. Let's get some more stone. But you know what can actually be a problem? Stamina, because with our current stamina pool, this is going to be difficult. Okay, let's try to go and make some stuff. Yeah, I can make a stone trough and one grinding saw. Uh, unfortunately, I need some more dinners. Yeah, okay, that should be enough. Let's make another grinding saw and I think I have everything, yes. Install this, install this and ta-da! The recycler is done. Let me just pick it up. Where? Ah, oh, there you are. Let's place it. And I think I'm gonna place it like this because it... Oh, the train is leaving. Bye-bye, train. Okay, let's put it to work immediately. Some dregs, some stone scrap, yeah, okay. Work for me. Now I can go to see Jan and tell him that I already have a recycler. And the reason I placed it the way I placed it is because it takes up less space and I want to have two recyclers and two furnaces. So with the current size of my workshop, it would be difficult any other way. Hey, there you are! <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> the main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, mm -hmm. you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Huh. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I believe that you actually know very little about building. Maybe some basics, but you're a crook, sir. So, now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Uh, where's the mayor? Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> yeah, don't burst into tears, Jan. Oh, uh, 
by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. A bonus thingy. Okay. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the city hall and register our workshop. Uh, and then, oh, let's clean up. Uh, but before we talk to Matilda, I think there's an encounter with Pen, as far as I remember. Oh, there's Justice. Uh, yeah. Now we're gonna meet Pen. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. Maybe because I'm not an outlaw. <laughs> and your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Well... You're not wrong. Hmm. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Uh, you know, it's so weird because I think Pen has the same voice actor as Owen, and Owen is like the ultimate Mr. Nice Guy of Sandrock, and Pen is. Pen. Okay, let's do this. Splendid! Let's go! You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which, all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Okay. So now we're gonna pick a weapon, and I always go for uh, daggers, even though a spear is quite nice as well. Right. So... Come, come and attack me! I won't fight back! Let me see what you can do! Not much. <laughs> Frankly speaking, this is all is that, that I can all do. You've got? Don't I tell don't. me you skip leg day! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. Uh, but can you break through my defense? Uh, like so? <laughs> Did I just feel pain? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Don't uh, you know any other moves? No. I'm getting bored. Uh-huh. Okay. Now it's my turn. Okay, now I want to avoid being hit. Stand still, this no. won't hurt much. We don't have to attack him anymore, the scene is going to end automatically. I just... I just want to avoid being hit. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. Ah, oh no. Oh, my ambition, my honor. Well, so if that's the case, then I can hit you a couple more times. Right, yeah, and that's it. Enough, I grow weary of this. Ow. And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled Never Mess with Pen. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. Yes, because beating up a person who is almost defenseless is a very heroic thing to do. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Bye bye, Pen. Uh, okay, let's talk to him again for that extra Hello. point. Mm -hmm. It irks me that there's a man here named Justice. I don't like it when my motto is associated with someone else. Alas, I am forbidden from dueling that man for the rights to the word. Too bad. Ah, yes, Pen being See Pen. Ya. By the way, I don't have to make myself a weapon because I know exactly where to get one. Right. Hello, Matilda. Hi. 
And Pastor Miguel, I guess. Why, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, well, that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. Uh, yeah, and as tradition dictates, my workshop is going to be called Chaos. Okay, confirm. Uh huh. Yeah. That'll do it. That's the name. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. Nah, I'm good. I don't think this name will ever cease to be relevant. Congratulations, Builder! Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. That's a good idea. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two Builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Yeah, I hope so. Hmm. I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then. And congratulations again, builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock. Thank you, Matilda. Let's... Uh, talk to her Howdy. again. Hmm. I do hope to see you this Sunday at our sermon. The topics are planned to be penance, self-determinism, and who could forget the lamentations of technology. Should be a real jamboree. Uh, um, no, thanks. I'm, I'm really, so long, really partner. not interested. <laughs> Honestly, I dislike the Church of Light, but I have very hard time disliking Matilda, even though I don't really trust her. Okay, let's say hi to Miguel. No need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. <clears throat> I trust you'll bring Telesis to Sandrock and beyond. Hi. Uh, I wonder if there's uh, any reason for him to be a shout out to Michael Jackson? Like, a real reason? Curious. Anyway, let's talk to him again. Hmm. If you find anything that looks dangerous down in the ruins, be sure to inform us right away. I don't want anything like the Ethia dancing robot incident happening here. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my time at Porsche. Take care. Yeah, take care. And now we're gonna return to talk to Jan. Uh, because there's another cutscene waiting for us. But first, we're gonna say hi to Justice. Hello. You must be one of the new builders. Mm-hmm. Well... Justice is my name, and justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts. Head of the Civil Corps. Hey there. Okay, again... Mm-hmm. Keeping the peace ain't easy, especially with only two men and one cat. Say, ever considered a career in law enforcement? N not really. But, uh, keep up the Catch good you work. Later. And, oh, Unsure. Hello, Unsure. Hey, I'm Unsure. I know. A member of the local civil corps. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gang led by Logan or the aggressive Gigglers. You should be careful. Thank you for the warning, actually. Howdy. Okay. Hmm. I put a commission up. The paper had a weird yet enticing smell and smashing it up against the board was a satisfying experience. If someone actually fulfilled the commission at this point, I'd just be, it'd just be icing on the cake. Uh, dear lord, are you me? See you. <laughs> I understand that. Okay, let's go talk to Arvio. Oh, creepy, creepy Arvio. Because I want a chair. Ah, and you're discount. a new builder, aren't you? Chaham, to be sure. Oof. I run by the stairs, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think you'll find our prices hard to beat. Yes, especially since it's the only general store in town. Oh, that's right. Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all. And I thought of something I think you're going to love. 
For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off. Just for you, of course. Ugh. Okay, thank you, Arvio. Thank you for the chair. Uh, let's talk to him again. Hey! Have you heard about the supply shortage over at the world-famous Ceramic Gate? I even saw tourists fighting over a pot. Dreadful stuff. But, lucky for you, I managed to acquire some from my shop through a notable contact of mine. Uh, that being your sister, right? Okay. Take uh, it easy. Um, do I want a chest? No, actually, no. Uh, maybe... No, not, not yet. Uh, okay, let's go. Right. Let's uh, clean up. Oh, hi, Jasmine. No, she's gonna show up tomorrow morning in any case. Ah, right. I need to go here. And there's a cutscene. Oh, hey. Did you get a message from Yen saying, Emergency, come now as well? No, I didn't. How would I get it? Did he scream real loud? <laughs> okay. wonder what's the emergency. Well, we shall find out in a second now, don't we? Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuse. Ay, ay, ay. Where's our oh. lift, huh? Oh, look! Rocky! Oh, buddy, old pal! Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Mm. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Really? Oh, oh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Do uh. we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufaula Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. Uh, violence is not the answer, but it's Yan we're talking about, so I kind of understand. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, uh, months or uh -huh. so. <laughs> but now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. <laughs> uh, help out, uh, right? I guess. Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job! Well, it's a lot of pressure, but yeah, let's do this. See? They're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Great! Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Mm-hmm. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to and... Hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. Oh, and I intend to put it to good use. When you're done, install it for me as well. G already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. <laughs> uh, my uh, back was hurting. And your turtle was sick. <laughs> Let's not forget about that one. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use the furnace as well. Mm-hmm. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. Right, okay. Uh, let's talk to Rocky again. Oh, oh yeah, and the camera went straight into the plant. Great. Mm -hmm. Some people around the free cities call us garbage men. I resent that. In fact, last person who called me that ended up in a trash can themselves. Just so you know. Uh, I'll remember that. Take it easy. No problem. 
okay, it was nice meeting you, Rocky. Uh, Ian wants something. Oh, it's you again. But I think he's going to explain. Say, since I've got you, mm -hmm. can I ever explain the uh, commission board to you? I, you know what? I don't want you to break a sweat, so I'll figure it out myself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated to figuring it out yourself, mm -hmm. eh? Well, good on you! The less time I have to spend training you, the more time I'll have for, um, you know, uh, big important uh, president stuff. Okay, I like sitting in a chair with your feet up. I'm sure it's exhausting. I think you'll find the information you need in the Commerce Guild handbook on my desk. Check it out if there's something you're not getting. Ciao! Ciao, okay. Uh, yeah, and let's uh, look at the commissions, actually. Uh, oh, there's one for Vivi. And she wants, yeah, Thin Thread. This is actually easy. Uh, and I want that. Okay, so we have our first commission. We can return to our uh, workshop. But yeah, but to make that thin thread, I am going to have to gather some plant fiber. And I don't think I have any. So let me just... Oh, the scorpion! Scorpion, scorpion, scorpion. Yeah, I get it. Yes, I did. Shiny scorpion. Somebody is gonna be happy. Right. Some more plant fiber. Aiming is hard. <laughs> Learned about sand grass. Oh, level up. Two more levels and we're actually gonna be able to spend the points. Okay, I should have enough. And let's just make thin thread. And we can go and see Vivi right away. That was fast, actually. I'm glad there was this uh, uh, commission for Vivi, because it's not always there. Oh, Captain! Let's go say hi. Member of the Civil Corps, Mouse Grabber Extraordinaire. Meow. I don't know why, but every time I see his face, I imagine his voice should be really deep. <laughs> Meow. Okay, let's go see Vivi. Actually, where is it? I have this uh, new t-shirt I think I'm gonna wear. It looks fine. I'm gonna get a better one tomorrow. Anyway. All right. Vivi, where are you? There you are. Hi. Well, look at you. A new builder in town. Always glad to see a new face. Here now, sugar, take this scarf. It gets chilly here at night. Courtesy of Taylor Maid. Don't be a stranger, you hear? Aw. Uh, let's talk to her again. Hey there. Uh-huh. Do you ever feel like you're looking not enough like a cowboy? Stop in at my shop sometime and we'll get that sorted right out. No, not really. Okay, I got your thin thread. This is just what I was looking for. Thanks, Leave. Don't be a stranger. See you. We did it. We actually did it. Uh, so, what I want to do now is start building the machines. I need a, a, a furnace. But before that, let's go actually to the Blue Moon and meet Owen. Owen, are you here? Oh, Owen and Grace. Let's say hi to Grace Newcomer, huh? first. That's good. We need all the help we can get. I'm Grace. Stop by for a meal at the saloon sometime. I'll do my best to make something edible. I mean, uh, you can try, I guess. Hmm. I majored in archaeology because I'm kind of interested in a broad range of subjects. And learning about the old world requires that you be at least competent in science, math, history. It's a little bit of everything, all of the time. Hmm. It sounds impressive. That's how I know I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. Hey. Hi. You're one of the new builders. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run the Blue Moon Saloon. Mm hmm. Are you hungry? I have a couple sample dishes. I know you can work up <laughs> quite an appetite uh, after spending a day in the ruins. 
Drop by any time. I'll be around. Good to know. Okay, again. Martel's Oasis used to be called the Sapphire of the Ufala. At least, that's what my pa told me. Nobody calls it that these days, I'm afraid. Well, have you seen this place lately? Okay, thank you, Owen. Thanks for the items. I got jerky and sunberries, and I'm gonna eat all that now. And that should give me some extra stamina. How much money do I have? 393 goals. Hmm. You know, actually, uh, what's today's special? Uh, meat stuffed mushrooms and stewed rice meat supreme for 10 goals only. And that gives me 44 stamina. Should I get anything else? Uh, oh, that's fine. Right, usually I don't really bother with uh, replenishing my stamina because I don't really care. But since I decided to be so ambitious, uh, ordering some food was kind of inevitable. Wait, is that... Mian, are you just standing in the middle of the road eating? Uh, there you are, okay. Okay, assembly station. Furnace. Assemble. Now, what do I need? Uh, stone trough, quartz, and wooden sticks. I don't have any of that. Maybe I have enough wood. Let's see. I can make some wooden sticks and that should be enough yep unfortunately I don't have uh, enough stone nor do I have quartz so we have no choice we have to go get some stone <sighs> this episode is going to be so long but the first day always always is longer because of the opening scenes and the tutorial and stuff okay quartz I have enough uh, and now I need to go and make two stone troughs that shouldn't be a problem uh, yeah and install and there we go we have a furnace where are you damn furnace oh, there you I was basically looking at it the whole time uh, okay and let's place it here somewhere around here okay no uh, no ah like so. Okay, because I need to have some space for another one and another rec recycler at least. Okay, I have a, one brick and some dregs and I could uh, recycle some more scrap, wooden scrap, okay. This is actually looking good. And I think it's time to place that chair that I got from Arvio. And I always like to place the chair here because uh, then I can sit down and keep an eye on my machines. If I absolutely have nothing better to do, that is. Or if I want to regenerate my stamina, but frankly speaking, sitting regenerates so little it's pointless. Okay, uh, let's head inside for the first time, actually, because I want to place that builder license right here. And we can check the home assessment board. Wall lamps give us plus 58 health points and the chair gives us plus 51. Okay. Okay, so my plan for uh, now is to build another uh, recycler and another furnace right away. And I think I should have most of the stuff to build a recycler. Yeah, I have everything, but I don't have wood. So... Let's go get some. And those small cacti are uh, actually a relatively good source of wood. In early game, at least. And why do I only learn about the ball cactus uh, while I'm cutting down the second one? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe they're considered too small for you to notice that you actually found a new plant. <laughs> That's why you need two. Well, it's getting late, but I think I have everything. Yeah, we got it. Another recycler. And let's pick it up and let's place it. Mm-hmm. 
You know, actually, I want them placed the other way around. Let me just do it real quick. Uh, okay, that took me way too long. Now, if we can only make another furnace, we're gonna finish everything I wanted to do today. Hmm, let's see. <sighs> so I had everything except for three pieces of quartz. And I don't think I can pull it off, because I only have 23 stamina left. Okay, let's... let's... let's see. Uh, aiming is hard. Did I get any quartz? No, and that's it. I don't have any more stamina left. Ah, this stone is going to bother me. <laughs> uh, you know what? No pressure. We've done most of the stuff that I wanted to do, so I think we can actually go to sleep and go to bed before midnight. I think it's a great idea, so let's just head inside. Okay, and that's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow I wanna finish that furnace, obviously, and we're gonna start on the crane lift. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope it wasn't too boring, and see you in the next video. Take care.